Welcome to the last video of my three-part series of the top design trends for 2024. Last video was all about surface pattern design trends and this video is a rundown of my findings for the top 10 graphic design trends of 2024. I've been sharing trend videos for the last few years and it's such a fun way to kick off the new year. I find that trends are a great resource that can help guide designers and their design work and inspire you as you create your projects for the upcoming year. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. I'm Jen Vicky Lazan and I'm the creative behind this channel. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you wanna learn more about me, you can find me online at www.bellasophiacreative.com. And on this channel, The Creative Studio, I share a variety of creative content focused on tutorials, resources like this video, and from time to time, a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a creative freelancer. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and explore around my library of free tutorials catered to those of you interested in graphic design, surface pattern design, programs like Affinity and Procreate, as well as art and illustration. If you're interested in learning more about the 2024 graphic design trends, keep watching. So the first trend I want to explore is the idea of natural materials and sustainability. Sustainability goes beyond simply selecting eco-friendly materials. It's about infusing designs with a deep connection to nature. This trend's charm lies in its natural aesthetics. Graphic designers increasingly draw inspiration from the world's organic beauty, crafting visuals that resonate with the serenity and authenticity of the great outdoors. With a continuation of sustainable material choices combined with responsible manufacturing processes, we see this trend beyond the aesthetics though. With reduced on-pack graphics and continued introduction of smart graphics like QR codes, we see more and more brands designing within the constraints of sustainability. The second trend we're going to explore is this idea of moving type. So more and more brands will task motion designers and typographers with telling their brand stories in more dynamic and expressive ways. With the release of Procreate Dreams, we're seeing more and more people dabble in the motion graphics and animation world than ever before, and we're seeing type play into this, and it continues to be a fun development. Kinetic typography has been increasingly used as the focal point of brand and design for quite some time, so it makes sense that it continues to become more and more popular. The third trend I want to look at is animated design. Just as I mentioned with moving type, with the release of Procreate Dreams, more and more designers and illustrators are dabbling in animation. Animated design is one trend that I see developing more in 2024. So say goodbye to static visuals because this graphic design trend is all about achieving attention grabbing impact through movement. You can use animated design to breathe life into your creative projects, captivate audiences with engaging storytelling, and enhance user experiences, whether you're designing something like a looping GIF or a subtle hover effect or even full-blown motion graphics, animation offers endless creative possibilities. So the next design trend we're gonna look at is maximalist designs. So say goodbye to the minimalist trends that have been a mainstay over the last couple of years. This whole idea of heavy compositions packed with many things all over the place, using all of the space on the canvas will be a big design trend that we'll see throughout 2024. So this idea of color rich, detailed graphics using all of the space possible are becoming more and more popular. The idea is that this concept is able to tell more in terms of stories and it grabs the attention of the viewer for much longer. The next trend we're going to look at is the idea of Malibu Barbie pink. So we were on the millennial pink train for a while, but now we've arrived in Malibu and the Barbie movie has really kind of taken over. So we're welcoming this more vibrant and in your face fuchsia mixed with magenta and it's bright and bold and in your face. So the Barbie movie was an incredibly popular film in 2023. So it makes sense that it was leading the way with trends in terms of color. So Barbie pink is being placed in the forefront of design trends and more and more work is building off of it. From vibrant type compositions to fun pink heavy designs, the color is everywhere. So speaking of pink, the next trend that we are going to explore is this idea of vibrant colors. So vibrant and bright colors continue to grow in popularity in 2024. We will likely see more color rich graphic designs with strong contrasting colors that easily catch the eye of the viewer. These color combinations are perfect for social media, posters and advertisements. In 2024, we're going to continue to see extreme saturated coloring that will likely help designers work stand out. 
colorful designs tend to be really popular for marketing purposes because they kind of give a sense of diversity and variety and they keep viewers really interested. The seventh trend we're gonna look at is pixel perfect. So if you're like me and you have kiddos or are creative, pixel art has been on your radar for some time, but we're seeing this trending in the graphic design world for 2024. This is definitely a bit of the back to the future inspired trend, taking retro pixel inspired graphics and then creating some more modern styles out of it. It's a fun style that's playful and experimental and you almost feel like you're looking at an 8-bit game, but it's often pulled into modern scenarios like websites and product branding and scrollable apps. The next one we're going to look at is multimedia collage style graphics. Inspired by traditional arts and crafts, this trend is all about mixing and matching, and this is something that I see as well in the surface pattern design world that I mentioned. It was kind of like this patchwork pattern style, and we're seeing this also in the graphic design world. So multimedia design and digital collage have really taken the design world by storm over the last few years, and we're not expecting them to fade anytime soon. It's a really crafty, trendy idea that invites graphic designers, illustrators, and even digital artists to kind of pull their concepts and their crafting supplies and their virtual scissors and um, start to combine mediums and ideas digitally. So while collage is traditionally an analog art form, this rise of the modern day multimedia design has broadened its possibilities. We see it a lot within the digital planning world where people kind of take scrapbooking into the digital world using like note taking apps like GoodNotes or Xenia and things like that and putting together these concepts. But we're also seeing it in the professional side where graphic designers are pulling these kind of same ideas and showcasing them in branding work, which is really interesting. The ninth trend that we're gonna look at is this interactive and tactile design concept. After COVID, people have really wanted to adventure out and connect again. So it really does make sense that design is looking for other ways to create interactive experiences that draw the viewers in and allow them to have a multi-sensory moment. I'm seeing it not just in design, but in events even, um, different events coming to different cities that are often multi-sensory and, and immersive events. So more brands are using immersive installations to entice shoppers into their stores. We saw it with film, whether it's the Harry Potter filmography or even like the Barbie events that went alongside the, um, the premiere of the film. Um, brands are trying to um, create these immersive moments for people. So designers will be incorporating tactile elements, responsive interfaces, and even perhaps augmented reality features into their work in 2024. Whether it's designing interactive infographics, kinetic logos, touch responsive exhibits, or engaging multi-sensory experiences, 2024 design is all about nurturing this whole concept of real connections, whether that's between the brand and consumers or creatives and their design work or people and spaces. And the final trend that we're gonna look at for 2024 is this idea of the cartoon boom. This trend is something that I have noted to have a stronghold on the Asian market for many years, but I'm seeing more of it just starting to filter into the Western market. Many will tap into this idea of looking for escape, but I definitely see that there is more of a nostalgia related feel to this trend. Whether it's being used for branding or iconography, in the case of graphic design, this whole cartoonish style illustrations are becoming ever more popular for 2024. Anything that can be turned into a cartoon um, is most likely going to be used, but the most obvious application of this design trend is through brand identity projects, specifically by creating cartoon characters out of the product being advertised. So in addition to brand storytelling, educational content is also adopting these styles for better engagement. And if we look where this is already happening, this type of work is very evident in things like K-pop with brands like BTS and their BT21 brand, where characters have a huge part in the brand identity. I mean, we do see this in Western culture for things that are often like dedicated and um, catered to the youth, things like cereals and stuff like that. Um, but we don't always see it within um, products that might be ranging in ages. So this is definitely where I think Western brands are pulling inspiration from, and I can see it continuing to grow in popularity throughout 2024. And that is it for my rundown of the top 10 graphic design trends that I'm seeing for 2024. If you enjoy videos like this and you haven't already, make sure you check out my other two videos in this three-part series where I walk you through the Pantone color of the year for 2024 
and the top 10 surface pattern design trends for 2024. I'll leave the playlist linked in the description box for this year's series, as well as the past few years of trend videos if you want to check those out as well. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It helps so much as I continue to develop and build this community and offer helpful art and design related content to all of you out there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!